I've seen no code tools, I've seen vibe coding tools, but today I wanna show you what this tool called Rocket New just created with one freaking prompt. It is a full application using Flutter that basically tracks my steps and gives me notifications every hour if I don't walk enough. I love sitting in vibe coding and this tool I built for myself. I'm gonna be launching this in the App Store and it does it all. This was with one freaking prompt. I'm gonna just go right into it. Everything was done, full settings, ready to go. We set up a whole backend. We set up login authentication. You have to check this out. It's hard to believe. Zero code in this whole project and it all freaking works. Let's get into it. I want to create a mobile application that tracks my steps and every hour of the day that I don't walk at least 200 steps, my phone starts yelling and sets up an alarm and gives me notifications until I walk the 200 steps. That is what we're doing today and we're gonna be using Rocket New. This is a new platform that I found and I've been waiting to try this. A lot of people have been raving about it and I had to go in and make a YouTube video for this and I heard it can do some pretty incredible things. So we're gonna be actually creating a mobile application and you can see down here the frameworks that it supports is Flutter, which is a cross-platform so you can do iOS and also Android at the same time. It also has HTML5, Next.js and also React. And then it has all the integrations, but I'm not gonna bore you with that for now. Let's just see what this thing can do with one freaking prompt. Send it. All right, first thing is it breaks down the project. We got splash screen, permission setup, onboarding, dashboard, active alert, step history and settings. You know what? Let's just see what this thing can do. Let's just select them all. And see what that means. I've done this with many other tools and we know how it always ends up. I'm gonna see what this does, and if it doesn't work, then we're gonna start over, and then we're just gonna use one, one part at a time to kind of break it down. But one day, there will be a video where an actual tool can do this with one freaking prompt. So let's see if this is the winner. And I went through some of the projects that people have built, and they do look pretty damn good, I must say. So I'm very curious. It definitely has a good vibe with the aesthetic from what I've seen. And a lot of people have been talking really, really good things about this. So again, we have to try it for ourselves because people just say things about tools, but they don't really use them. And you know what we do here on my channel is I actually break everything down and actually build out full projects. All right, the coding has started. So it's gonna basically show me on the left side here all of the different requests. I do like how it's broken everything down though. It's already switching to preview, which is always dope. So we got splash screen, permission, setups, Ooh, this is different. I'll take eight to 10 minutes to build as per your request. And that's it? Once finished, your app preview will replace the screen. In the meantime, you can take a look at our library and templates. Also follow us. Yeah, we definitely gotta give these guys a follow. All right, let's give them a follow. They're doing pretty well. I mean, there's a lot of hype around this. Man, I hope this doesn't disappoint. All right, let it load, let's see what happens. So this is one prompt, about nine minutes total. Step guard, your personal step companion, loads the, get the hell out of here. There's no way. Okay, I mean, we've all seen fancy front websites or pages or, holy crap. Look at this, no steps, notification system. Then we go down, look at this, 120 turns green. So it has all the visual cues for, here's one that's like orange. So that all works. Let's go back, timeline. Okay, so that was the feature. Let's go analytics, there's an, oh my God, look at this. It's got all the graphs with the dynamic UI UX. It's got the average steps, all the logic, improvement, trends. Let me see if there's weekly view. <laughs> On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. All the notifications, let me see settings, there's no way. No, okay, that, yeah, I'm kind of speechless actually. Look at this, you got units, kilometers, miles, all the help documentation, auto sync, you could connect your health integration. So right now it's obviously using dummy data, which is totally fine, but this is insane. Okay, I am, de oh, it's even got a monthly calendar and it's got all the color gradients. Yo, this is crazy. 
What's this edit right here? Okay, I'm impressed. So this is one prompt. So let's keep going. Let's see how we how quickly we can connect this to a super base. Let's get some integrations going. And let's keep working on this. But right now it all works. As far as the UI, the front end of this. Oh, it's already got the days, all the sa saved information. All right. All right, I got to calm down a little bit because this is pretty sick. All right, let's keep going. All right, before we dig in deeper, let's take a look around this dashboard. So we have our different pages. This is actually really handy to be able to work on the specific pages. I like that look. So we can work on the analytics dashboard. You want to go to settings. You got your timelines. So we can go to the splash screen, whatever you're working on. Then we have our code. Can we actually edit the code? Yes, we can. All right, that's perfect. So we got a readme file that it's set up with all the different flow. Let me see. Then we got get ignore. We got our, our super keys. We can definitely put all the keys in there. Super handy. Then we got our Android support. Then we also have iOS with our profile. Oh, this is incredible. Then over here, we got publish on web. So we have our preview link, which is already active without having to do anything. Well, I'm so curious to see how this is going to do when it actually comes to connecting live data. But yeah, there's our project. And then we can also install on the phone. So I could see right here. Okay, so for Android, there's support. You just have to download the Android APK. And then it looks like iOS is coming soon. So then for Android, we can already set this up. But again, this is just front end. There is no back end setup yet. So why don't we do that first? And like I said, from the home page, when we look, so on the home page, when we look, there is support for GitHub. We got Superbase, Figma, Netfly, Stripe, OpenAI, Anthropic, Gemini, Perplexity, Google Analytics, AdSense, and Resend. Damn, this thing has everything. All right, let's go. Let's continue then. All right, so let's go to Superbase. Let's set up a new project. We're going to call this, what did I say? Guard. What was the name? Let's just say Guard Steps. Let's put a password. Okay. Then we got West Coast. Create new project. So we got that set up now. Then let's go back into it. And then we're going to go into settings. Let's go into integration, Superbase. Let's connect our Superbase. Hit authorize. Let's select our organization. All right, next, let's select our project, guard step right here. Hit save. So now that's connected. Let's go back. Let's go into it and say, I have integrated Superbase and created the project, period. Can you talk me through what the next steps are to setting up this whole back end? Let's see what it says. All right, so it gave me the breakdown. Let's read through this. So database schema setup. So your step tracking app will need several database tables, user table, fine, step record table, notification settings table, daily goal table. Then we got our authentication setup, configure Superbase for registration and login. That's fine. Then the RLS policies, consider social logins. We can definitely do that. Real-time functionality to connect everything cross-platform devices, and then back-end configuration. And then also there is some detailed documentation. So let's take a look at that. So if you want to do this yourself, you could do it. But of course, that's what we're here for. Okay, so let's go. Let's set up the back-end first. All right, there we go. So it says, perfect, let's set up the complete backend infrastructure for your Guard app. I'll help you configure the Superbase backend, all the necessary components. Let's see how it looks. All right, so it finished, and so now we just have to push this to the database. So let's just double check. I'm gonna hit refresh. There's nothing in my tables yet. So let's go in and push this to Superbase. So this is gonna do all the schema. It's gonna set everything up. Let's see if you could do it in one swoop. I'll be pretty impressed. Let's go back, let's hit refresh. Holy smokes. Achievements, daily summaries, hourly activity, location, notifications, settings, logs, step record, user goal, and profiles. Yo, this is crazy. All right, let's keep going. All right, next, since we already kind of have a good foundation, is I definitely want to set up Git. So let's go back to our code. And then we're going to go right up here, and we're going to say push to Git. So we're gonna push that, make sure that we have an updated Git for our project, very important. 
Yeah, you guys make sure you use Git because if something does screw up, which a lot of tools it does, totally normal, you can go back and actually do versioning. So next what we need to do with our super base all connected and actually working, let's actually do authentication. Actually, you know what, let's leave authentication for the last step, but next I want to actually do is I wanna actually connect this step feature because without that, this is all just dummy text. So we need to actually discuss that. Next, I wanna discuss the actual step feature. How are you gonna be able to integrate this so it actually tracks my steps? Let's hit enter, let's see what it says. I understand you want to know how this actually works, but here's the crazy part. I can see you have a comprehensive step tracking implementation already in place. So it already coded it all in there. I don't actually have to do it separately. It uses the pedometer, which accesses your device built-in motion sensor. This is insane. Real-time collection, step tracking services creates two continuous data streams, multi-platform capabilities, it integrates with HealthKit and Core Motion Frameworks. This is on iOS. And then it's got a built-in counter that runs in the background for Android. It's got permissions, data storage, background operation. The step counter works even when the app is closed. Damn, this is insane. So next, all there is left is actually setting up our login authentication. So all you have to do is say, what are the setups and what are the options? And of course, the obvious ones, email and password. You could also do Google social options, which is pretty straightforward. There's also magic link. So for us, I just wanna set up actual login authentication with email. Set up email and login and hit go. This should take two seconds. I'm sure it's done a thousand times. All right, just like that, we have it set up. So now we're just gonna put our information in. This is all pretty standard stuff now, super easy to do this. These systems are getting so smart. I expect this to work on the first try. Let's hit create account. And as suspected, account created successfully. Let me get the email address and show you. And there it is. Confirm your email. This is straight from Superbase. And again, you can set up Google, social, Apple, whatever you want. Go to our login screen. And just like that, we have our login. Then all we gotta do is go grab our password and hit sign in. And then we have our onboarding. So check this out. Welcome to StepGuard, your personal tracking companion. Hit next, track every step. Next, hourly reminders, your privacy matters. Then we're gonna have our essential features. So this is what you can enable. So we definitely want background app refresh. We want notifications and then the physical activity and we're gonna hit get started. And just like that, we've built the full application from start to finish with our back end. And now if we go to our users, you can see all the users are right here that we've set up. We have all of our table editors, our summary, everything gets saved, all of our user profiles. And just like that, we've built this out fully. Only thing left is putting this on Android, which you can do right here with downloading it and building it. Actually, let's just do it now. We can actually build this APK and then put it onto a phone. You could test it, make sure everything works, and then you can publish it into the Google Play Store. And for iOS, I'm gonna do a follow-up video where I'm gonna download this project, I'm gonna bring it into Xcode, and then we're gonna set it up, make sure it all works on the phone, and then I'm definitely gonna launch this in the App Store. I'm definitely gonna do some more work on it, but in a 20-minute video, I just wanted to show you guys the power of this tool, and it is a good one. And we just did one tutorial on mobile apps right here using Flutter, but you could build web apps, using next.js or React, HTML5, you could do internal tools, you could build full websites, dashboards if you have a CRM that you wanna build, anything like that. Plus, you could obviously start with Figma. So import your features from Figma and get everything looking exactly how you want. So played with many tools and this one is very, very powerful. And the fact that we were able to one-shot this was pretty crazy and you guys saw exactly how I did it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Go check out Rocket New. All the links are below. And of course, if you guys want to come build with AI Builders, all the links are there too. I'll talk to you later.